Cindy Davis had never expected to be so surprised. Her husband had given her a painting in the 70s that he made himself. But this turned out to not be just any old piece of art. What she found out the secret her husband had hidden in this painting. It went from surprise to surprise. Cindy and Paul Davis met in high school. They were each other's first loves and had never been in a relationship with anyone else. Because they met at a young age, they knew everything about each other. At least that's what Cindy thought. It later turned out that Paul had kept a few private affairs from her. But it would be years before these secrets came to light. At the time, Paul had a job as a businessman and often ate out. All week long, he would have lunch with business partners and clients. Cindy didn't have an issue with this, she was used to it. What did upset her was that Paul seemed to be going out to lunch with one person more and more frequently. Her husband had been going out to lunch with a beautiful blonde woman for the past few weeks and hadn't said anything to Cindy. How did she know? One of her best friends worked in Paul's favorite restaurant. Nothing got past her. She decided to confront him. One day when Paul got home from work, Cindy was standing there waiting for him. She got straight to the point and demanded that he tell her about this mysterious blonde woman. Paul denies everything. He says the blonde woman is an important client at his company. The lunches? Purely business-related, according to Paul, that is. Cindy's friend also said that there was nothing romantic about the meals the two shared together. In any case, they had kept their hands off each other whenever she was around. All she could do was believe what her husband said. But something was still bugging Cindy. Shortly thereafter came Valentine's Day. Neither Cindy nor Paul had ever showed much interest in the holiday. It was more important to them to be loving to each other every day, and not just once a year. Cindy had no idea that this Valentine's Day would be different than the rest. When Paul came home that day, Cindy was shocked. In his hands, he had not one, not two, but five enormous balloons in the shape of a heart. He also had a huge bouquet of roses, which he gave to his wife. Cindy didn't know what to say. Why was he doing all this? Sorry that I've been so busy lately. Because of this, I haven't had enough time for you, Paul explains. I love you. Things have been going really well at work for the past few months. This was a good thing, but it also led to lots of stress and fatigue. This meant Paul couldn't be the partner he wanted to be. Cindy gave her husband a firm hug and a loving kiss. She understood it completely. She loved being pampered by Paul. But the bouquet and balloons weren't the only surprise. Paul asked Cindy to turn around while he went to get something out of the shed in the yard. He spent a lot of his free time in here. It was his domain, so Cindy hadn't been out there in a very long time. She was more than curious to find out what surprise awaited her. When she was finally allowed to turn around, Paul stood in the living room with a beautiful painting. It was self-painted masterpiece. On the canvas was a painted version of their most beautiful wedding photo. Cindy knew that Paul was a good painter, but the fact that he had done this painting by himself he had clearly put lots of work and love into it. The years flew by. Paul and Cindy are incredibly happy in their marriage. Their two sons grew up, moved out, and started their own little families. Cindy is more than content with her life, even though nothing that exciting ever happens. The painting Paul had made for her hung on a living room wall all these years. For 50 years, the painting hung in Paul and Cindy's home. All these years, Cindy had no idea that there was a secret hidden in the painting. But after all this time, the painting's secret would be revealed. It would explain a lot. Fate was not on their side. Paul becomes ill. Things go downhill quickly. Before they know it, Paul can no longer get out of bed. The doctor pays them a visit and says that unfortunately, there is nothing he can do for the now senior citizen Paul. He doesn't have much time left. The doctor tells him to get to the hospital as quickly as possible so they can take care of him there. Things don't improve once they get to the hospital. After a few days, Paul ends up in the ICU. While doctors do their best to get Paul feeling better, nothing works. Cindy's husband has no more than a few days to live. Would the secret die with him? Cindy contacts both her sons and gives them the sad news. She suggests they both come to the hospital as quickly as possible to say goodbye to their beloved father. They promise to drop everything and be there soon. It's an emotional day. Cindy and her two sons love Paul with all their hearts. For years, they were able to enjoy each other's company. 
but this is now coming to an end. None of them know that Paul has been holding onto a secret all these years. Something to do with the painting that he gave to Cindy five decades earlier. Cindy holds her husband's hand until the very end. She hates seeing the love of her life suffer, so it was a relief for both of them when the suffering ended. But before this, Paul confesses that he has been holding onto a secret all these years. Cindy is shocked, of course. After living with someone all this time and thinking you know them through and through to then find out that the person has been hiding something from you. She looks at her husband in shock. He tells her that she needs to take a good look at the painting. Cindy doesn't get any further explanation. Paul passes away and leaves Cindy alone in the hospital room. Once she got home, with tears still in her eyes, Cindy takes the painting off the wall. She blows off the dust that has collected on top of the frame and turns the painting around a few times. She doesn't see anything odd, but on his death, her husband had told her to take a good look at it. She decides to call in the help of an art historian from the local museum. She tells the man her story who immediately came to pick up the painting for further research. From the goodness of his heart, the art historian decides to use his tricks of the trade on a painting done as a hobby instead of on truly historical artworks for once. The following weeks are extremely hard on Cindy. She's mourning the loss of her husband and at the same time is waiting on a call from the museum. To pass the time, she goes on lots of walks and visits her children frequently. She looks back melancholically on the beautiful marriage she had, but still the secret of the painting stays on her mind. What could her husband have kept a secret from her all those years? And why didn't he tell her when he was alive? What is something he was ashamed of? Then the phone rings. That historian has finally uncovered the painting's secret. Cindy rushes to the car. Once she gets to the museum, her eyes go wide. The art historian walks her past the Grandmasters on their way to see her beloved Paul's painting. What did he discover? In a back room, the painting is already set up. All around it are numerous tools and products that are all new to Cindy. It's clear that the historian has taken his work seriously. All that just because of her story. Then the historian reveals the secret. The art historian takes Cindy over to the painting and clears his throat. Then he tells her that he found the secret. It was hidden under the layer of paint all this time. According to the expert, Paul hid something 50 years ago by painting over it. He says there's only one way to uncover the secret, taking the paint off. The expert reassures Cindy. He was able to discover where the secret is in the painting. She only has to scrape off one small corner. He gives her a paint spatula to scrape it off. Her honor. Cindy scrapes off the paint and sees something unbelievable. Underneath the paint, on the canvas itself, is something written in her beloved one's handwriting. But it's not a love letter, no confession or other text. Numbers are scrabbled onto the canvas. Cindy looks at the art historian in surprise, who is now also hunched over to see what is written there. Are those coordinates? The expert asks. Cindy takes another good look. Indeed, they look like coordinates. But why would her husband cover up coordinates underneath the painting? As far as she knows, he was never that interested in maps, navigation, or pathfinding. Cindy takes the painting home and decides to inspect this mystery from top to bottom. With the help of the internet, Cindy discovers that the coordinates lead to a spot in a park close to her house. She decides to go there and takes a shovel with her just in case. She often takes walks in this park and has never noticed anything odd, so it must be something invisible to the naked eye. Just to be safe, Cindy leaves a note on the table to explain where she's going and what she's doing there. You never know what you're getting yourself into when you decide to make your way to coordinates that were hidden 50 years ago under a layer of paint. On her way to the park, Cindy's imagination runs wild. What was she going to find in the spot that the coordinates that were hidden under a layer of paint lead to? Why hadn't he said anything to her while he was still alive? Did he have a dark secret? Or was it something to do with the blonde woman she was so jealous of all those years ago? She hadn't thought about the woman for years, but now that she was on her way to solve the mystery, she came back into her thoughts. She would soon find out what her husband had kept a secret. Once she arrived at the location, Cindy double-checked the coordinates once more. This was the spot. She didn't see anything strange around her. Green grass, acorns here and there, a forgotten pile of dog poop. Typical things you find in the park. Underneath a large oak tree, 
Cindy puts the shovel in the grass. Despite her age, she was still quite fit, so a bit of physical labor wasn't going to deter her. Thankfully, there was no one else in the park. She would have surely gotten some weird looks. At around half a meter down, Cindy runs into something hard. Cindy digs around the hard object. Slowly, she can see the contours of a red metal chest. The chest is extremely heavy. There's a padlock on it, making it impossible to open. The padlock seems to unlock using a combination of four numbers. But what are the correct four numbers? The mystery wasn't over yet. Paul hadn't made it easy for her. Then she thinks of something. Cindy realizes that she obviously knows the code to open up the padlock. She had found the chest after following the coordinates that were hidden under a layer of paint. The paint was part of a painting that Paul had made, recreating their favorite picture from their wedding. The combination to the padlock was, of course, their anniversary. Cindy enters the numbers with success. In the chest, there was a letter. Tears raced down her cheeks as she began reading it. On the paper it read, in Paul's handwriting, the following, Dear Cindy, if you're reading this, I'm already gone. While I always want to be with you, there will come a day when one of us has to leave the other. Maybe someday, I'll be forced to dig up this chest, and you'll never read this letter. But for in the case that I leave you, I'm writing you this letter. Last week, you confronted me about the fact that I was going out to lunch with a blonde woman pretty often. You were afraid that I was having an affair. While this is not the case, I did lie to you. This woman is not an important client. This blonde woman is a representative at our bank. I wanted to ensure that if you ever have to experience the pain of loss, this is the only pain you will ever have to suffer from again. You know that last year, as I'm writing this, my mother passed away. She left me a large sum of money which I have put in a special safe that will be kept at our bank. On top of this sum, I will add money to the safe every month for as long as I live. In this chest, you will find a key next to the letter. Show this key to an employee at the bank, and he'll give you access to the safe. Love, your Paul.